This Phoenix officer is a documented liar whose history of lies were hidden during a trial, a trial that put a grandmother in prison. We exposed this troubling case in our full disclosure investigation last week. Now, ABC 15 investigator Dave Biscobin confirming deeply disturbing new details about that officer, Anthony Armour. He's been accused of sexual assault multiple times, and we do want to warn you, you're about to hear from one of his accusers, and her story is graphic. It is not suitable for young children and may be difficult to watch if you are a survivor of sexual assault. This is Gianna Anderson. I probably will never be the same. Is this something you're ever going to be able to shake? I don't think so because I still have nightmares. Nightmares from a traffic stop on October 16th, 2015. It happened in a parking lot near 16th Street in Camelback. Gianna stopped because her registration for a new car was late. Where would you like for me to start? Uh, it's whatever you're comfortable telling me. The following account of what happened between her and Officer Anthony Armour, based on her words, incident reports, and her lawsuit, Armour wasn't wearing a body camera. When I rolled my window down, I said, good evening, officer. What's, what, did I do something wrong when I pulled out from the ATM? And the first thing he says to me is, don't play dumb with me, just like that. And it was at that point point, one of the first points of that night that I realized I've lost control. Something's not right here. When he told her to get out of the car, she asked to see a supervisor. And even before I could get done saying supervisor, I don't need my supervisor. Just get out of the damn car. Jayana then says she tried to start recording on her phone, but Armour grabbed her wrist, stopped her, pulled her out, handcuffed her. She says she screamed out to someone walking into the McDonald's to ironically call the police. And as I'm being slammed up against my car, and he said to me almost with his teeth and like fringed how are you gonna call the damn police on the police i just started crying with his left hand he uh went down inside my um i had some jogging pants on and they were pretty old i had probably had them over 12 years and so the pockets and everything were just kind of torn on the inside and he goes down into my pocket and all i can feel is his hand going down across my side and in between my thighs. So close to where I could feel him rub up against um, rub up against my private parts. And I just remember being told to shut up in almost a whisper. And then he comes back up and he goes up underneath my t-shirt and starts groping and fondling my left breast. And that was the point that I knew that everything was just totally out of control. Inside the police SUV, she had a panic attack before passing out. And it was almost like a um, like you're watching a movie and I just started all of my memories of my life just started playing I could see my kids I could see my mom when she came to she says she was on the ground of the police SUV and another officer was dragging her out by her feet there was no dignity I was treated like a dog with Jayana now laying on the ground she says Armour took her phone, snapped two photos, one with later arriving officers standing above her, another of these firefighters. Gianna believes he took the photos as intimidation. This was something habitual with him. It wasn't his first. We obtained this internal memo showing Armour was accused of sex assault before, in 2010, by a fellow Phoenix officer. She claimed after drinking, she woke up after a party at a friend's house with Armour having sex with her. The victim did not want a criminal case. Phoenix documented the claim. No charges were brought. He has no respect for any woman's life. And for him to be able to get away, someone is covering, someone is hiding. Records show Armour's racked up complaints from women. Here's part of his troubling timeline. Jayana's traffic stop, October 2015. Less than three weeks later, just 19 days on November 4th, Armour unlawfully entered a woman's apartment false he arrested her lied to his supervisor regarding the circumstances lied in his incident report and after his sergeant told him to release the woman from custody he had her sent to jail anyway armor was suspended for 80 hours not fired phoenix also didn't report the case to az post the state police board which could have revoked his license they kept him around right 
The system is so corrupt that they don't care what they have on the street. And that's obvious. In fact, Phoenix police aren't only spending a lot of public money defending against Gianna's lawsuit. The city is even using an assistant chief, Steve Martos, as an expert witness to defend the use of force armor claims he used on her. It shows the city willing to use a high-level city official to defend the words of a documented liar. Use his word as if it's absolute truth with no other evidence. Jerry Williams needs to be fired. She has no clue. And she's the diaper that's covering up the mess. I'm Investigator Dave Biscoving, ABC 15, Arizona. Every charge against Gianna was dropped. Right now, her civil trial is on hold due to coronavirus. As for that officer, Anthony Armour, he retired early with a full public pension this year after claiming accidental disability. Attorneys for the city and Armour did not respond to our request for comment, and neither did the Phoenix Police Department.